By the turn of the 20th century, the Grand Canyon was a familiar spectacle to many Americans. Several decades earlier, explorer John Wesley Powell led a legendary expedition through the Grand Canyon on the Colorado River. His famous journey gave testament to a land that before almost seemed mythical. In its aftermath, more and more people wanted to see it with their own eyes, and few more so than dedicated outdoorsman Theodore Roosevelt. Even before becoming president of the United States, Roosevelt had been an ardent supporter of conservation efforts, particularly out west, where he'd spent time living and working in the 1880s, some of his most formative years. There he'd grown a particular affection for the rugged wonders that stretched on, uninhibited for miles. Roosevelt made his first trip to the Grand Canyon in 1903 and was immediately struck by the expansive scene, a place that embodied all the great features of the American West. It was a sight Roosevelt wanted everyone to experience, but one he worried would soon fall victim to the march of time, which was bringing with it industrialization at a rapid pace. Congress shared Roosevelt's fear, and in 1906, passed the Antiquities Act, giving the president the power of proclamation to declare places of historic interest as national monuments. And less than two years later, on January 11th, 1908, Roosevelt took full advantage, declaring the Grand Canyon a national monument. 11 years after that, President Woodrow Wilson reclassified it as a U.S. national park, preserved for all to see it as Roosevelt did. Well, Prince Takamatsu and his bride are certainly having a fine honeymoon trip. They have stopped here on their way to the Pacific coast to see the Grand Canyon. His Royal Highness has come a good many thousand miles to see it, but it was well worthwhile, he said. The Grand Canyon quickly became a signature American destination. Its great gorge and cliffs splashed with vivid, earthly colors drew visitors from all around the globe, and it continues to do so. Still commanding the awesome power of nature, providing a valuable window into the way the world was.